hello and welcome to day one we finally touched down and it was night time so I didn't get any footage of that but it's morning time and we're all waking up this is my little brother waking up my little sister who came in to greet us a good morning her name's Victoria and yeah that's me messing with my dad making him wake up I know he was so happy check that smile out I know everything seemed so surreal at that moment. That's my little brother. He finally got up, but you can tell he's still jet lag. This was actually awesome to me. It's a cell phone and it has like four SIM card slots. So like you're never out of service. Yeah, I haven't seen that anywhere else. Um, so we went ahead and got up and went to the living room to watch a tribute video of my stepmother. May she rest in peace. After the video was over, we decided to, that's Chi Chi, one of my dad's helpers and workers, Miss Angela, we decided to go ahead and venture outside. So that's my little brother, we're talking about taking our first step outside in Nigeria. So we go outside, and that's Chi Chi again, and we just did a little bit of exploring. And this was very interesting, as you see my brother standing there in his socks. And that's because when you go in, you cannot wear your outside shoes into the house. And when you come out, you don't wear your house shoes outside the house. So there's a little foyer right there where you switch shoes. So yeah, so he had to go back and put on some different shoes. There he is with his tennis shoes on now. So we go ahead and we start to explore. And we're looking around curves and corners. And around this corner right here, we find the garden. And in the garden, this was actually a snail garden. And we just decided to go ahead and snap up some pics. As you see, we're standing on the walkway. They're just building. Yeah, they're, they're just making a garden on that side of the uh, apartment. Um, Yeah, we're just snapping away, having fun. Those are actually our first pics in Nigeria. So, yeah, it was quite awesome. As you see, we're still ecstatic and you know, overjoyed of just being there. And that's my little brother hugging Chi Chi. And that is the water tower where they collect water. And yeah, as you can see, I'm already starting to get hot, so we're about to head back in the house to eat some breakfast. My dad has already sat down and he's made breakfast for himself. It was some type of uh, wheat cracker and peanuts. He prayed, Derek? No, I prayed for him. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, I prayed for him. <laughs> 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 like, I prayed for him. I was with 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 him. More delicious. Take play with it. He's like a man. Right? He likes sissy. Alright, guys. That's alright. Yeah, eat like no, a man. No, eat like a sissy. Two more peanuts, go put. See? Alright. Alright, I'm gonna go. Oh, you wanna taste it? Yeah, I wanna yeah, taste, taste it. it. I gotta taste it. Don't oh, take with the peanut, so the dry not the yeah, air is kind of better. Mmm, that is actually good. That's what it's like graham crackers. Okay, like graham crackers. Yeah, but it's cool, it's, it's all wheat. So <laughs> good. <laughs> okay, so we're about to walk to the marketplace yeah. for the first time. Yeah. Okay, well she just told me to hold on to my tablet because it might get snatched. So at this moment I decided to just put it away. Yeah, didn't want any trouble. Okay, so that's us leaving the 
gift store. It was like a little mom and pop store, and we picked up a few items for the house. And then we turned right back around and left again, and this time we went to the small marketplace. So this was a marketplace where you could just find like a lot of varieties of different foods and spices, and it was a lot of things there. So that's fish, but those fish right there are already dead. They also had live fish that they kept alive on water. And it was just a lot of people selling different items, different food items. You could bargain for the prices that you wanted to pay. And that was some smoked turtles. And as you can see, the alligator. You know, it was okay. Um, sorry about how small the picture and the video is, but I had just bought this tablet the day before I left to uh, go on this trip. So I was kind of holding the tablet up and down, which what I thought it would have been. But I guess you have to video with this tablet. Well, I know now. You have to video with this tablet uh, holding it sideways. So the first week, I actually held it the wrong way. So most of my video and pictures are a bit on the small side. Yeah, I never did look at them because we were making the Marie's. And I didn't really have time to go back and look at them. So yeah, by the time I figured that out, I think it was like week two. So sorry about that. But hopefully you can still see everything so this is us we're waiting for some frozen chicken yeah and I was getting pretty hot <laughs> I was about ready to go we had been there for a while then we had walked the entire marketplace and that is actually a type of transportation that they use to get around this call uh, I believe a ikiki or something like that but yeah and I'm gonna let you see this footage of how the ikiki actually goes it's like a little moped with like a carriage on the back that holds the passengers and yeah so we took that back to the house instead of walk so enjoy the ikiki ride Okay, well, this ride was actually kind of scary because there are no uh, speed limits and no traffic lights or signs. Uh, as you see, that's a bus stop right there. But yeah, we're actually sitting in a traffic jam right now. So if you ever wonder if undeveloped cities or countries have traffic jams, then now you know. Yes, they do. So yeah, we sat in this traffic jam for a little minute. So yeah. So we finally made it back to the house after shopping at the small marketplace and it's time to start cooking. So that's uh, Esther right there and she's pulling some plantains and Chi Chi is right there cutting up the frozen chicken and the fish that we just bought. And that's Angela who's helping Chi Chi. Uh, cut the fish up so yeah we're all in the kitchen just having a good old time putting the food up and starting our dinner or actually late lunch <laughs> Thank you. 
trying just to remember the names and that's actually uh, Esther she just went out to get some fresh water to cook with they don't cook with the tap water they actually have barrels of water that they use to cook with and actually take baths with <laughs> I just decided to go check on my little brother to see what he was doing. He was in the living room with my dad, and as you can see, my dad is sitting up, but the one that's laying down right there next to him, that's my little brother. He's still jet lagged. They are knocked out. <laughs> So that is dried shrimp that Angela is preparing to uh, grind up in the blender. So right now that's just some shrimp that we picked up from the marketplace. She's actually um, going through it and making sure there's nothing in it. No. Um, rocks or stems or anything that's not supposed to be there and she's going to blend it up so she can put it into her jar where it can be sealed where uh, bugs can't get into it. So what type of soup? Yeah. Is, what type of soup is being cooked? Well, this one is pepper soup. Pepper soup? Yeah. I love pepper soup. Okay. Oh, it's very good. Okay, I'm gonna have my first African pepper soup tonight. Since I was about <laughs> about 16 years. <laughs> It's been about 16 years since I had pepper soup. Okay. So that in that jar right there that she just put on the counter is salt. And they keep it in jars like that, like I said, to keep the bugs out. And there you can see her starting to put the shrimp that she just blended up into another jar. No. What? Sent me. Sent me. Smell easy to cook the soup. Okay. I said okay, but in reality, I really don't know what she said. <laughs> I had a question. What were those little blue things that you guys bought from those children? What was like? They was like like. Snails. Yeah, that was snails. What were they? Yeah. Fridge. Fridge. What is it? It's like fish? Yes, just like snails. Snails? Yeah. Okay. No snails? 
I've never had a snow before. Okay. Oh, that's good. My first time ever seeing that. Never seen that before. It's cool. I know that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go. 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 Let's
seeing all the exotic spices and seasonings that they're using in this pepper soup, I came to the realization that my soup will not be the same. <laughs> Is that called the living room or what do you call it? The living room? No, the room. The room he's in the room. This one is the This one he's at, I think. Yes. I think he's still sleeping, sitting in there. <laughs> I think he's sitting in there still asleep. <laughs> he's sitting next to my dad, knocked out. Uh, nah. I slept good last you night. To let, you to learn how to yes, I'm wide awoke. I'm ready to go. <laughs> wow. Gotta soak it all in. Yeah. Oh, you're a Yes. I have four kids. I really enjoyed my dad workers. They made this experience feel like such a pampering journey. And I really needed that at the moment because I had just went through so much, so much with my mom. She had just beat fourth stage breast cancer and yeah, and we decided to take a trip to relieve some stress. So me and my brother came on this trip right after that. So they made this wonderful. <laughs> Sweet like that, I would be in great shape. <laughs> That's cool. This is the water. This is premium table water by Coca Cola. Sugar cream. Okay, this is the generator. Well, the solar lights, not the generator. This is the solar lights that's ran off of the generator. In case the lights go out, it's the alternative light mail system. Is it for girls you have? One girl. One girl. God is great. Okay, she was just asking me about my children right there. I told her I had three boys and one girl. She thought I had four girls. But yeah, God is good. Okay, now they're just 
uh, fine tuning the pepper soup. So now it's just tasting, tasting, adding more dry shrimp, a little bit more salt, a little bit more beyond cube, and just making it where it's delicious and ready to be served. Uh, Chi Chi is actually a very, very awesome cook. I must say this soup was actually, ac uh, actually, was absolutely <laughs> delicious. So, um, yeah, that's just her making sure that everything's going to be ready when it's time to eat. And, yeah, they did a wonderful job, I must say. So, the soup is actually almost done. It actually took less time to cook than I thought it was going to take. And like I said, that's her. She just added in some more dried shrimp, and she's adding in some salt right now. But yeah, it actually didn't take uh, as long as I thought it would. It was about 30 to maybe like no more than 40 minutes to cook this soup. But I don't even think it took that long. It was actually quite quick. So that kind of kind of scared me at first because I was thinking maybe the meat wasn't going to be done. But once I started to, as I always do, pick through my food, <laughs> I was able to see that, yes, it was actually done all the way through. So, yeah, kudos to them for being such wonderful cooks. Um, yeah, that's just her adding another chicken beyond cube. Yeah, they tested me pretty well in this kitchen. They was testing me on names of things, and you know, I didn't know everything, but I kind of asked about the things I didn't know before they had a chance to question me, so just luckily, everything that they asked me, <laughs> I already knew because I didn't have to ask, but yeah, it was quite fun cooking in the kitchen with these ladies. I had a marvelous time, so thank you for the wonderful experience of learning how to make uh, pepper soup. Yeah, it was great. Thank you. It's okay. I'm hot already. <laughs> cold water is fine. Yes. It's cold where I came from. It's like real cold. So I get here, I'm like, what? It's hot. <laughs> yes, I enjoy this weather. It's not too hot. It's just hot. Okay. Yeah, it's great. Oh, it looks so good. And he wants a hamburger. Wow. That looks so good. I want a hamburger. I can't wait to eat. <laughs> Oh, y'all are going to see me act like a man today. <laughs> okay. So my little brother woke up and he came into the kitchen and he asked her, what is that? She said, pepper soup. He said, mm. I think I want a hamburger. <laughs> I was like, give me the pepper soup now. Yeah, it was great. It smelled so good. I was so ready to eat. Look at that. I'm sorry. That's like my favorite word down here. I'm just in the way. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry. Everything I do, excuse me. Okay, that's, that's, that. that's gonna be great. That's ready. And that's how you cook pepper soup. Well, it's the pepper meal. soup was ready, and the children was just making it in from school. So that's us greeting my sisters and my little brother, and that's Treasure and Grace, and they're hugging my dad and me and 
you know, just saying, hello, you know, we're home. Yeah, that's Grace. She's a handful. I love her so much. And yeah, that was the finished soup itself, the plantains and the pepper soup. It was great. And so they told me to come sit down, and the pastor actually came, and that's the pastor and my uncle, and they said a little prayer, and then they took their food into the uh, living room, and my dad came and joined me and my little brother, and we sat down and ate, uh, I guess, a late lunch or early dinner, whichever you want to call it. So, yeah, so that's us, you know, sitting there eating and conversing having a good old time yeah it was fun and that's my little brother who wanted the hamburger <laughs> eating his pepper soup yeah my daddy demolished it <laughs> he is demolishing that chicken ball <laughs> he eat like Tyrell <laughs> there <laughs> Let me see what you got in here. Nothing hardly. Oh, I thought it was fish. Okay. You want some more fish? No. Thank you. They're teaching my brother the customs of his culture and he's learning how to wash his hands the cultural way. That right there is soap with the green top and the white bottle. And yeah, he uses one bowl to wash and one bowl to rinse and then you dry. I'm recording. <laughs> Yes, thank you very much. So that was my baby sister treasure that just entered and my dad asked her did she eat all of her food and she said yes. She's so smart. She's only two and two years old and she catches on to everything so fast. She even knows her timetables already. Don't even think about uh, addition and subtraction. Think about a two-year-old doing multiplications. Right now, she's just about to start learning division. Talk about a super child. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying anybody. Well, about that. No, it's not that. No, it's not that. Right, Lady. No, it's right, Lady. Right, Lady. Let me put it fast. Grace. 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 Thank you. 
Okay, thank you, Andrew. God bless you. So after we finished our late lunch or early dinner, whatever you want to call it, we had a surprise guest, and that's everyone sitting in the living room. And that lady right there is my grandmother. She's not knowing yet who we are. So they're sitting there like everything's good and my little brother's standing on the wall. And then my father gets up right there and he makes an announcement to her and tell her who we are. And she's listening and she's kind of grasping what he's saying. And then she's just like, oh my God, my grandson. And it was so such a sweet moment. She was so happy. And yes, she met her grandson that she never met before. And there they're sitting and they're talking and they're celebrating, you know, the homecoming of our reunion or our first time being, you know, where my father's from and our first time seeing my grandmother. She's 94 years old. And it's, it was such a blessing to be able to meet her. It was definitely my honor. Um, that's just me with my little sister, the two-year-old treasure. Yeah, by now she had uh, grown very accustomed to me, and she didn't want to be, you know, out of my sight. And that's my other little sister, Victoria. And that's Victoria again with uh, Daibo, my little brother. Yeah, they were so happy, and they were so sweet. Yeah, so me and my little sisters, yeah, we look like twins almost. <laughs> big age gap and that's my little brother both of my little brothers sitting together so and here go all of the girls so it was really great my grandmother got to see her oldest granddaughter and her youngest granddaughters and my little brother is actually not the oldest grandson but she did get to meet you know her grandson that she never met before she only heard about us and this is my grandmother like I said, she's 94 years old, and her health is very great, and that's just me hugging my grandma for the first time. Yeah, it was so great. You could tell she was so great. She didn't speak English, so we had kind of of a uh, language barrier, but I kind of understand my language, even though I don't speak it, so it was quite fun, you know, to try to understand what each other was saying. So that's just uh, my dad and brother and my grandmother taking a family photo. Yeah, and they <laughs> see my little brother was as happy as my grandmother was. He's about to suffocate her, it seems like. But yeah, it was all good. And that's Esther hugging my grandmother, my daddy worker. Um, yeah, Esther and my little brother. Now it was just time to take all the pics, so we had our video. Here we go. <laughs> Recording. Recording. I'm recording. Video. 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 Yes, that's she gorgeous. <laughs> my other little sister that's up in my arms. <laughs> I just like to press on the camera. <laughs> little brother. I'm the oldest child here. Got seniority. My other little brother right here. Christian. My little sister, get it. I'm recording. <laughs> I'm taking the video. Yes. Okay. You gotta jump down. One second. Let me take a picture. One second. One second. I'm gonna pick you back up. Hold on. So yeah. This is my two little sisters. I had to put down my baby sister, take a picture of them because it was getting kind of dark and my camera's not good in low light. So I had to kind of adjust the angles and so I can get some great pictures. So that's Grace. Yes. 
she's opened it up for you guys. Okay, and my little sister Treasure is actually kind of mad at me right now because I put her down. And like I said, she had got joined to my hip. I was about to get her back. <laughs> well, right before the night ended, we decided to take a little trip. That's my brother. You can see the stars. Um, to my uncle's hotel. And so we went to go and meet uh, my uncle and my aunt and my cousin. Uh, they own a hotel. And these are just pictures of us meeting them. That's my cousin. That's my auntie. And that's my uncle. So that's how we kind of ended our night. Just meeting some more relatives. And they gave me this drink. And oh my god, I just want to say it was so nasty. But I'm going to end it right there. <laughs> yeah, I gave it to my little brother like I do everything else I don't like. <laughs> and that was the end of the night. And we had a great uh, day.